Shalom everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Prophetic Blessings. God bless you. You cannot be under grace and your disgrace. I don't know if you're coming across this particular prophetic word or this channel by accident or you were invited. I don't know how you're thinking right now, but it's not by accident. It's a privilege and the Lord stopped you here for you to receive this word as you're going in the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word says, pack your bags. Hallelujah. Pack your bags and get ready. I take it again. Pack your bags. Get ready. Someone is coming to pick you very early in the morning. Pack your bags. Get ready. Someone is coming to pick you very early in the morning. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I pray for as many that are watching me right now and they're about to receive this particular prophetic word. I pray that under the sound of my voice for as many that are hearing me in the name of jesus none is living the same i pray for testimonies in return in jesus name amen this particular prophetic word say pack your bags get ready someone is coming to pick you up praise master jesus the bible says when jesus came across a city praise master jesus the Bible says there was a blind man. There were ten blind men, ten lepers, I mean to say. They saw Jesus. They shouted. They said, Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus never prayed for them. Jesus spoke a word. Jesus said, go and show yourself to the priest. Go and show yourself to the priest. These people have been there for quite a long time. Not one, not two, ten. Each and every one of them cry out their problem to the Lord. They told it, they cried to Jesus, have mercy upon us. Jesus told them, everybody go and show yourself to the priest. As they were going, the Bible said one of them noticed that he has made whole. He decided to return and tell God, Father, thank you. That is a Christian that is grateful to the Lord. When this man came back and said, Lord, thank you. Jesus asked, where is the knife? The nine never came back. And Jesus laid hands on this man for the second time and made the decree that let your healing be permanent in the name of Jesus. I want to declare what in the life of somebody. The Lord gave me this particular prophetic word. Pack your bags. There are people that have been held captive for quite a long time. I don't know that area of which you are limited. That area of which you have failed. That area of which Jezebel has held you captive. That area of which your life has refused to, to, to have a U-turn. Hear me. The time has come. God revealed to redeem. And the Lord has sent me here to speak to you. That your time has come. The Lord said you have cried for quite a long time. Pack your back. It's high time for you to leave. Pack your backs. It's high time for you to leave. No. That poverty has kept you there for quite a long time. That sickness has hold you for quite a long time. Ebadosia. That failure has been your, your portion for quite a long time. Oh my God. That limitation has become your best friend for quite a long time. I don't care to know the situation. But one thing I'm telling somebody. The Lord says, put your things in order. Somebody is coming to take you. Put your thing in order. And the Gabriel that stand for the militant in heaven is about to be released. They are coming to take you. They are taking you out from your pains. They are taking you out from, from your days of tears. They are taking you out from your days of sorrow. I don't know who is connecting. But in the name of Jesus, as you make yourself available, I speak God's word upon your life. That your days of tears are over. Your days of pains are over. Your days of sorrow are over. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Please don't go without sharing. Don't go without liking. Don't go without sending this word to somebody. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.